Next, as tributes are paid to David Bowie from around the world, fans in Aylesbury have been remembering how a club there was involved in a seminal moment in the star's career and in music history. The Friars Club was the first venue where Bowie officially appeared as Ziggy Stardust and the Spiders from Mars, and it was where he chose to unveil their album. Peter Cook has this report. He was a truly global superstar. Pushing through the market square So many mothers crying But his rapid rise to fame started on a very local level. In 1971, the still little-known David Bowie played a rare gig at the Friars Club in Market Square in Aylesbury. And the rest, as they say, is history. He formed the band that night in the dressing room. He said, I was in the dressing room with him, and he said, look, this was fantastic, you know, let's do it, let's do it properly. And so he formed the Spiders from Mars that night in the dressing room, and then he came back three months later. At that concert three months later, he unveiled his album Hunky Dory, and the world woke up to his talents. That summer in 1972, he was back in the Buckinghamshire town with one of his most famous albums and characters, Ziggy Stardust was born. He arranged with RCA Records to fly in 50 journalists from New York just to the Friars Aylesbury gig. And so suddenly, overnight, we were on the world stage. You know, we were talked about in Rolling Stone in America, all the American magazines, you know, the Andy Warhol magazine, all those sort of people suddenly were talking about Friars Aylesbury and the David Bowie phenomenon. One fan at the gig was a teenage Vivian Simmons who walked away with her own special memento. Towards the end of the gig, he, he took his shirt off and threw it out into the audience. And I was lucky enough to come away with a corner of it, which I kept. There'll never be another um, David Bowie. There, there's nobody like him at the moment, and I don't think there'll be anybody like him in the future, because th th what he did cannot be repeated. He, he, he had such an imagination. Fans paid just 65 pence to see Bowie that night, the smallest of prices for their moments with a cultural icon. Peter Cook, BBC South Today.